Happy Independence Day, guys. So now we come to the second vlog on the first day inside Big Boss's house, season five. I'd evidently walked into Big Boss's house with the flu. My antibiotics were in my bag, which the vitriolic serpent Shonali had gotten confiscated. Well, why me? Just the Julius Caesar conspiracy unfolding that we are going to make Pooja Mishra's life miserable and get her evicted from the house in the first week itself. Did you know what kind of sacrifices I made to be a part of the show? On the day I was entering the show, I was called by Samir Banerjee to go and meet Bhat Saab for Jism's franchise. All right, so I sacrificed the movie to be on the show. And later you will know, they went ahead and gave that movie to my troll, Sunny Leone. As we go along, all the hidden truths will be revealed. Me being an eternal optimist, put my ill health and my confiscated bag behind me and even tried to blend in with the girls by dancing with them. However, Shakti Kapoor was having a fields day flirting with all the girls. He hit on Vida asking her why doesn't she become an actress and he earned himself a buxom siliconed hug because she's an amorous wannabe, which I'm not. I kept my distance from him and I think that did not go down very well with an MCP like him. So he went around asking everybody, who's Pooja Mishra? Why is she here? And therefore, I was the first person he nominated saying that, uh, you know, she's on her own and this, that and the other. Why, Mr. Shakti Kapoor? I was an easy target because I was by myself. Is that so? Is that why you nominated me? Well, you can nominate me a hundred times, but my audience won't evict because they know who I am. And that is a self-made person the hard way. During the nominations, everybody's naked intentions were for all to see. Just like Cassius, Shanali did not even bat an eyelid before nominating me because she had come there with a hidden agenda to out me. Well, why else would she get my bag with my medicines confiscated? Then came A Tu Brute, then will not fall Caesar, Pooja Bedi, Brutus. She also within a second nominated me and so did her puppet Rageshwari who followed suit. Mehk is somebody I've done innumerable shows with and she knows me pretty well but the shrewd and calculative Antony also could not help herself from nominating Pooja Mishra because she saw me as a threat who could win the show above her. Deep, of course, was more vocal about her insecurities as she said that I know Pooja Mishra to be a renowned model and an anchor and therefore I nominate her because I want to see her jobless. So her seething jealousy came across in a more unfiltered manner, whereas Vida's unbridled double-facedness. In fact, she was one of the girls who I spoke to the most in the house at that time. But because I was hotter than her, she wanted me out of the house. Juhi's reasons to nominate me was the most hilarious and evil. She said because Pooja Mishra is feeling cold, let her go home. Well, that's because Shonali, the anaconda, had swallowed my bag with the antibiotics, Juhi the Chuhi. Even the pregnant wrestler nominated me saying that because Pooja Mishra is not opening up, she doesn't deserve to stay here. Well, you know what, Sonika? I don't work in a maternity hospital and I'm not used to being around pregnant women who might go into labor any time but are so overtly ambitious that they yet come on a reality show. I rest my case, Biatch. So, a confiscated suitcase, eight nominations, a running nose with a flu with no antibiotics, a lost Mahesh Bhatt film, some up the kind of loss I had to put up with to survive in Big Boss.